Bungabag holidaymakers trying to sail from the port of Dover have reported being stuck in six-hour queues to complete border checks. Port authorities have blamed the French side, accusing them of being woefully understaffed. Well, joining me now is Doug Bannister, who's the chief executive of the Port of Dover. Grateful for your time on Sky News this morning. So, who's to blame? Listen, first of all, I need to say that I am really very sorry to all those travelers that have that have uh, headed out this morning to the truck drivers, the local community in Dover. We should not be in this position. We have we have been planning for this day, this morning. For the last several months, we have installed in the port new infrastructure to be able to handle this. We've trained up more people. We have shared traffic uh, levels by hour for the whole summer with the appropriate authorities to make certain that we had enough resource in place to handle it. We had warned that if we didn't have enough resource in place this morning, starting from about four o'clock, we would be in this situation. And it is highly regrettable that we find ourselves here. So who's to blame? So right now, we don't know why there was insufficient resource uh, deployed from Police Au Frontier. As people will know, we operate juxtaposed border controls here in Dover and in Calais. Now, the good news is, is when it works well, you clear French immigration on our side. So when you get to the other side, there's no cues for immigration. You just drive right out and you get on your way. But it is a critical pinch point that we are feeling right now. What are you hearing from the French side? What have they said to you? What conversation are you having with them? We are having uh, conversations at multiple levels within France. You know, our, our central government is doing everything that they can to work with their French colleagues to make certain that, that we can get people on the ground. Now, we have had additional resource sent in this morning and we've had, uh, and we're beginning to get the traffic moving, which is good news. However, it will take some time for the backlog to clear. We've got high attention on being able to get this done, and that's what we're focused on doing right now. Uh, Mr. Bannis, let me just press you on some of the uh, points that authorities at your port have made, accusing the French side of being woefully understaffed. Is this something that you agree with? So uh, we, had, we had shared with them what our resourcing requirements were, and we had about half the number overnight. Okay, so, 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 so that is woefully, um, to use your words then, um, that is understaffed. So that, that is obviously something that you agree with then. You agree that they have been woefully understaffed. It, uh, for what we had required for this morning, there was insufficient officers on the ground ready to do the work. And the processing times through the border were also much longer than normal. We don't know why this had happened. We will find out. But at this moment in time, we're doing everything that we can to get the traffic moving and getting people on their way. Well, currently, people are looking at six-hour queues in which they're, they're stuck sitting there at the moment. That's just not good enough. What is it that you're doing? How long are they going to be stuck there for? Is the number likely to reduce in terms of the hours or are things set to get worse? What, what do they have to look forward to? Well, I, I, at this stage, because of the backlog that's been created, I can't tell you how long it's going to take to clear this. I really wish that I could. We, what I can tell you is the processing rates have improved since the early hours of this morning, and the traffic is, is beginning to move through, but we've got a heck of a challenge to get through it all. Now, this is, this is a situation that we had warned about, that if we didn't have enough resources for, for this day, this morning, then we would be faced with a significant challenge, and that is where we are right now. So you've highlighted the fact that you're saying that the French side have been um, ill-equipped in terms of staff numbers. What about the UK side then? The numbers, how are they looking? Well, we, we have had, I can tell you that our ferry operators have had enough staff come in. They've got, a, they're sailing uh, full schedules. They're all prepared. Uh, the, the border force teams that we work with have been excellent. They're all prepared. Kent uh, County Council, uh, the Kent Resilience Forum, Kent Police, they've got manpower deployed uh, around in the road network to make certain that it all happens. And, and so on our side, and indeed we felt because we were working very closely with Police Au Frontier for the last several months to prepare for this, that we had felt that they were going to be adequately resourced as well. And you've touched very briefly on that in terms of working the last several months to prepare for this day. You've also said um, previously that you've been working with the UK government. Um, tell us about some of the conversations that you've been having 
to prepare for this day that you've been um, having with the UK government and indeed what the solution is. How do we move forward? How do we prevent people? Most of them will be having children with them sitting in six hour traffic. Uh, yeah, it, again, I am so uh, sorry, so disappointed that people who have you know, also planned for this day uh, when the when the schools break up and they want to get away on their holidays to be to be caught up in this situation is just so so tragic. It is it is absolutely not where any of us wanted to be. Now we've been we've been talking with uh, with central government with with uh, HMRC with uh, the Department for Transport and we've been working with them through this entire process and and uh, up until uh, up and well up until this morning. Things had all been, you know, we all knew what we needed to do and we were all being prepared to do it. And then to be let down in the, the way that we have is just so frustrating. Doug Bannister, he's the Chief Executive of the Port of Dover. Thanks for your time.